and welcome back to my channel. It's time for a January update. We're in the middle of January and I've got a ton um, blooming right now. I've got a lot in spike, I've got a lot in bloom. I think I counted like 15 or 16 different orchids. So let me just jump in and show you my grow shelves, then I'll take you a little bit closer to look at the individual orchids. So here's my grow space. I'm slowly replacing the lights so that they're all the same kind of light. As you can see on the upper right hand side, it's a little bit of a different color. So I'm going to slowly be replacing these and I'll take you guys on a larger update um, as everything's complete. And um, I was supposed to finish this today, but I'll tell you later why I couldn't finish. But let me take you in closer with the lights off so you can see everything more clearly. So since I've added more new orchids, you'll notice some new lights up top. And when I do the tour, I'll, I'll share everything that I've done to set that up. But in the meantime, let me show you my catacetums. All of them are uh, heading into dormancy. I haven't watered them. I've had some spider mite issues still with some of them, but I just rinse them off and spray them off with neem oil. Um, no big deal. I just keep rinsing them. My Oncidiums are doing really well. They're in clay pots, so I have to water them almost daily since they dry out really quickly. So when it comes time to repot, I'm gonna put them in plastic pots since they dry out so fast. That uh, Miltonia Kismet Kind Kai in the middle is growing like a weed. It's got four new growths. These orchids are the ones that I've recently transitioned. A lot of these are from Gold Country orchids that I repotted. I have them on a heat mat and they're doing really well so far. The only one that I'd say is not doing well right now, despite the heat mat, is that Ascophenicia cherry blossom in the back. So that one has recently lost um, four different leaves. So I need to do something about it pretty quickly since it's evident that it's not liking the setup. A few of these orchids I actually got from a birthday haul and I'm recording a three month uh, semi-hydro transition video so you guys can follow along on those updates. Um, that first one, that Phalaenopsis Sogo Vivian's Leaf's Edge is in that video, which is now in bloom. That BC Besso will be in there as well, and you'll be able to see the transition for three months on how they do. So that'll be up soon. Um, looking at the top shelves, I've moved up my Sherry Baby on the left, my Dendrobium Chocolate Chip that I got from Akatsuka on the right, my Maxillaria Tenofolia, and I've got a few dormant catacetums. My Monurara Millennium Magic Witchcraft is up here as well, and the new growth is still pushing out and getting a little bit taller. And I'll take you a little bit closer later so you could see it a little bit in, in better light. Um, I also moved my Monstera up there and my Oncidium Hilo Firecracker New Year up there as well since it's much larger. I'm still planning this out, and when it's ready, I will show you the updated space. So on this shelf, I have a lot in bloom. Um, in the center there, that's my Oncidium Heaven Scent Sweet Baby. It's doing really well. It's been in bloom about two, three weeks and it smells delicious like chocolate. In the back is my Multasia Dark Star Orchid Works. This one's doing phenomenally, phenomenal right now. That one has um, a spike there and I noticed a second spike a couple of days ago coming from an immature growth. I'm trying to see if I could take you a little bit closer but it's right there, just popping out of that immature growth. So it's super vigorous. Up front is my Catacetum Rustwood. This one I think will open up any day now. It's starting to burst. Um, I'll, I'll post when it blooms up on Instagram since it'll be basically any day now. Um, I'm not giving this orchid any water and it's still doing fine. In the back, I've got my Phalaenopsis Stars Fiona. That one gave me double spikes and then um, I'm just really happy with this. I got this for $5.99 on clearance from Hauserman Orchids, and it's doing great. This one up here is my um, first Phalaenopsis that I ever got. Seven years ago, I actually transitioned it to semi-hydroponics, and it's throwing out some buds. Down here is my Oncidium Twinkle Oro. So this one has been blooming profusely for the past two months. This is the one with 14 spikes and it's been um, throwing out some new, new blooms on some older spikes and then it just keeps popping up with the new spikes. So that's really exciting. Um, I'm very happy with it. It smells sort of like vanilla, but a little grassy. If you have this one, let me know if you get that same sort of grassy smell. Um, down here we've got some fowls. This one's my hieroglyphica. That one is fading. 
Um, in the back is my Phalaenopsis amboinensis. It's going strong. It's been in bloom about three weeks, going on four weeks, um, and it's still going really strong. My Zygopetalum is actually growing quite nicely. I repotted this, I think, in October, but so far it's doing fine. Uh, moving down, I've got more Phalaenopsis down here. Everything's growing well vegetatively. This one's my uh, Phalaenopsis LD Bears King. It's throwing out roots like crazy. Um, it's, it's just going under the pot um, and just going crazy. No spikes yet, but this is a summer bloomer. So this summer I should see some new stuff forming. Uh, Bellina and Violacea are two in the front. And then we've got some of my newer Latoria dendrobium types in the back there, as well as my Neophenicia. I've got a Boston fern here and my Maxillaria tenifolia. We've got my um, SLC Circle of Life over here. It's doing all right. And a seedling dendrobium. Those are doing just fine. Down here, I've moved some Cattleyas. I've got uh, three lights. Um, in the back is my BLC Wine Leopard Tsinghua. The new growth is getting larger than the older growth. So I hope to see some bloom soon. That one is my, my favorite uh, Cattleya orchid. Dendrobium Popeye is to the left. This one right here is the Potanera Barana Beauty Barana, and that one is growing nicely as well. And then we've got a couple more Cattleyas from SVO and my um, Hawaiian Wedding Bride Orchid. We've got a few more Cattleyas here. Um, they're growing nicely. I'll say that a lot of them have been throwing roots like crazy. So the root growth has been phenomenal. Someone asked me for an update on my Vanda. I moved it from full water culture to semi-water culture and the roots have been growing really, really nicely. I may need a larger cup. Um, I'm very pleased with it. So far it's doing well. I'm looking for that new leaf to be larger than the older leaves though before I could call it a full success. Um, more Cattleya orchids over here. Everything's growing nicely. There was one, one of my orchids had um, some buds that blasted really quickly. But that just shows me that it's getting a good amount of light and it needs to up the humidity. So I'll keep an eye on that. On top, I've got my dendrobiums. So on the left, I've got um, my dendrobium pink Natasha. It's turning red and some of the leaves are drying off. This actually happened in that older growth where one of the leaves just got burned. These are supposed to be very highlight orchids, so I'm surprised that it's getting burned. Maybe I'll take it away from the lights um, a little further, but if anybody has seen that with their dendrobiums, let me know. Um, I've got a new growth coming up in my Cattleya. This one's my BLC Hinzing Greenworth, and that little splotch there is from my too much neem oil once. Oops. Um, this one right here is my Potanera Spring Prominence. I got this from SVO in Bud. It did not blast. It's beautiful. It's not fragrant, but it's just very pretty. Um, the flowers are very waxy and very pretty. So I really like that one. Um, I'm very happy with it. Um, moving towards the back, I am so excited to show you guys my Dendrobium Anosmum. It's actually in Bud. This is the white form. Um, and I'm super, super, super excited to see it. I have another larger anosmum, but it's not blooming yet. Dendrobium buttercup is doing better. I have it isolated just in case it has some viral infection. But as you guys remember for the last two months, it had some black spotting that was taking over all of the new growths. I went ahead and cut off every single leaf that had some spotting. As you can see, there's one spot there on the right on that leaf but the newer leaf does not show any signs of spotting. So I'm hoping that this no longer has that issue, but we shall see. In the back here, I also have a Phalaenopsis, um, a Denfal. I think this one's called Mainin Urewan. And I was just worried that it had a, an infection, so I moved it away as well. So some of you guys asked me about my light situation, if my grow shelves get any daylight. So I have east facing windows and this is actually in my bedroom. My grow lights don't get much sunlight. So I'd basically just keep the lights on um, 12 to 14 hours a day, depending on the season. But these are in an east facing window and these are get morning light. This is separate from my grow shelves. So over here, we've got the Bellera Hilo Big Shot. This one I'm really, really happy about. It's so beautiful. And Akatsuka came through with um, 
a nice replacement. I'm super thrilled with this. Um, it's very healthy. I've got my no ID file here, which is about to fade. I'll repot soon. And I've got my Oncidium Twinkle Fragrance Fantasy, which was in bloom for about a month. It had a wonderful vanilla fragrance, but this one is also due for a repot. So I'll be repotting this soon and refreshing my bedroom corner there. Here's the other window. Um, this one over here is my Oncidium Raspberry Chocolate. I'm very, very happy with this orchid. It smells really nice. It smells different from the Sherry Baby. It's a pleasant, sweet smell. Not quite like the Sherry Baby, but really nice. Sort of chocolatey, but different. Um, this one has a much larger uh, spike. Typically, the Sherry Baby and Heaven Scent Sweet Babies, they have a thinner spike, but this has like nice waxy flowers. So I hope it lasts longer. It is a little different. Um, I've got my BST Tarantula Sweet Orange in bud right now. One of the buds blasted. Um, as you could see up front, one of them just dried up. I hope the rest last. And I've got my Odontocidium DM Parquet Uptown Girl over here as well. This is a cooler room. Um, my grow shelves are about 80 degrees and my bedroom is between 60 and 70. So I keep the cooler growers over here, um, including the Miltoniopsis. Um, so any orchids that prefer cooler temperatures, I actually keep them away from the grow shelves to give them a difference in temperature that they can tolerate a little better. Um, by the way, this BST Tarantula Sweet Orange is super prone to getting purple and leaf spotting. I've had to cut off some of the leaves. It's still spiking for me, but I think it requires lower light levels than I expected. I know Michelle just got this orchid. Hi, Michelle. Um, so I wanted to show you this and show you that it was totally normal. I had to cut off some of those leaves and um, it's still giving me a spike. So I think it's happy. I just move it away from the window if it's getting too much sun. Here's my Miltoniopsis Lila Farnihu. I, it's growing a new bulb. I hope it gives me a bloom. Over here, we've got my No ID Dendrobium nobili. The two of the canes have faded, but the one in the back is still going strong. It's been in bloom for one month, so it's coming to an end soon. So I'll be repotting this as well um, come springtime and um, look forward to blooms next month. To the left is a complex no ID file that I've had for five years and that's in bloom. Taking you guys closer to the orchids in bloom, this is Phalaenopsis Sogo Vivian Leaf's Edge. It's my variegated fowl. This one has opened up. It is in bloom. It's got these beautiful pink flowers. No fragrance, just beautiful. Um, and it just opened up. So I'm very excited about this one. Here's Catacetum Rustwood. Very excited about this. You can see the specks coming through on this orchid. Um, just taking you a little bit closer, you can see the buds as I'm focusing in. It's gonna be very spotted. So I'm really excited to see this one. These are propagated from seed, so everyone is a little different and these should be opening up any day now. So when it blooms, I'll post it up on Instagram so you guys can see it and um, Super excited. I hear it's also fragrant, so can't wait to see it. This one's getting no water at all. I'm just gonna let it go dormant after this blooms and then set it up for success next month. Um, right over here, this is my Dendrobium Anosmum White. So this threw out some buds. Bas I'm so excited. I hear this one smells phenomenal. This one, I just stopped giving it water when I noticed the leaves yellowing off and then it gave me buds. I did not put this one outside. It seemed to respond to just not giving it water, which is nice. So I'll hopefully next month it'll have blooms already and I'll be able to show you guys uh, what that looks like um, very soon. So really excited about that one. Here's a close up of my Oncidium Twinkle Oro. As I mentioned, this one has 14 spikes. This one I got from Carmilla Orchids. A lot of the spikes came with the orchid already, but as I said, it threw out some spikes um, a, a, about a month ago and those faded and now new spikes are coming in. So I think this will be in bloom for a few months just because it's got different spikes within different stages. So I love the yellow color. This one's different from the Fragrance Fantasy and Gold Dust. I really, really like this one. This is a huge Oncidium Twinkle. 
Here's the Potanera Pink Profusion. So here's a close-up of it. Um, no fragrance, as I mentioned on this one, but it's got beautiful like fuchsia pink colors with a really, really nice uh, lip. It looks very fiery. Here is a close-up of Oncidium Heaven Scent Sweet Baby. It's been in full bloom for about two and a half to three weeks now. I think it's going to fade um, maybe within the next week. So these blooms typically last for me for about a month. They smell wonderfully like chocolate. I, I really like this one. It's very, very vigorous. I repotted it and within two weeks it threw out a new spike and it threw out a spike from a bulb that already had a spike. So we know that it, it's capable of blooming on both sides of the bulb, which is good to know for the future. It's throwing out three new bulbs. So I think come springtime, I'll keep seeing this one in bloom it's very easy to grow here is a close-up of my phalaenopsis stars fiona so this orchid i got for 5.99 at hauserman orchids i transitioned it to a semi-hydroponic setup immediately and it threw out some beautiful beautiful blooms so i'm super thrilled with this one it's um it's been a really 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 nice addition and um i'm very happy with it it's just absolutely beautiful. I did not expect to get double spikes, especially for an orchid that was already in bloom, but orchids are capable of blooming a second time. These are complex files that bloom once a year, but if they're imported, they get a little confused and they're capable of blooming a second time with a change of environment. Here's a close-up of the Monurara Millennium Magic Witchcraft, which we repotted two weeks ago. As you can see, the new growth continues to uh, get larger. I'm still not giving this orchid water, but we will, uh, I will keep you posted. This one here is my Brassocatlia yellow bird. So I had some issues um, about a month ago where the tips of the leaves were turning black, so I had to cut some of them off. I topped it off with cinnamon and the black spotting has not come back. Um, but I wanted to show you this since I had that spotting. It's got some new growths and I noticed a sheath come in, as you can see right there in the center. So hopefully that will that little sheath right there will uh, lead to some blooms. Here's my Tulumnia. I've been struggling with this orchid because it's had mealybugs for a few months. I had moved it from a clay pot to this... Um, mesh setup it's got a new growth it's actually got two new growths and the new growths look fine it's the old growths that look really bad so i'm conflicted on if it's the setup where it's not airy enough for this orchid or if it's the mealy bugs but i may change something since i've been treating it for a very very long time it's in the mesh pot but it may need more air we'll see what i do with this one over here is a close-up of my Dendrobium Buttercup. As I mentioned, it had a ton of issues in the last two months with some sort of fungal infection. Someone asked me to see an update on this. As you can see that little dot there, it had it all over its new leaves. I don't think it's related to the semi-hydro transition because I noticed it's throwing out really nice roots like crazy. Um, so I'm gonna show you those roots. I did cut off um, any fungal infections that I saw but it's popping up some new, new um, leaves without an issue. So I think this is resolved. My fingers are crossed. I've been spraying it with Fizan after I cut off any black spotting that I see. Some folks may have mentioned it could be a nutrition deficiency, but we shall see. In terms of the roots, it's liking the semi-hydroponic setup. The roots are going down into the medium. So that is very encouraging. It does seem to like this setup. I'm not seeing issues with the roots stopping. They're going right down into the medium. And it did not have a, a super extensive root system, but it's encouraging to see that. So that is it with the updates. As you can see, I've got a lot in bloom right now. Um, I'm in the middle of setting up my, um, my updating my growth space. So I'm adding some new lights. Um, so I ordered uh, 12 different lights from the Orchid Hobbyist and someone stole half of my order. Literally it was, I ordered it and then um, within 10 minutes, someone followed, basically followed the delivery guy on his way out, got into the building and then took one of the boxes. I have it all on camera. 
I don't know. <laughs> I'm just really frustrated if I find that person. Um, it's not going to end well for her. <laughs> like, there's no way that she needs orchid lights. Anyway, we'll resolve that. I'll figure out what I'm going to do um, as I got it from a small shop. So I don't know if I'll be reimbursed. But um, when I get the new lights, I'm going to be updating the grow space. And then I'll show you guys. I'll do an updated tour since I'm making some changes since I have more orchids now. So I'll show you, um, I'll do a tour of everything in a couple of weeks when I get the light situation sorted. Um, I've, I've got a lot that's about to bloom. I'm going to be posting updates on Instagram. So follow along there if you want to see that catacetum, that rust wood, it's about to open up. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more orchid content. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.